Hey guys, today's video is going to be on what a CNC cage is. And CNC just stands for cubes and chloroplasts. And right here, these are the cubes. And the chloroplasts, I don't have chloroplasts, but you can buy it. And not every CNC cage, you don't have to have chloroplasts. You can actually use other things like a shower curtain. And I use the shower curtain, and then I put something else underneath of it. Like, you can put, like, a mat or whatever just to make it thicker and cleaner. So, yeah. And I just use that because it's a lot cheaper. And I can't really find chloroplast anywhere near where I live. And the cubes, you can... I get them from Bed Bath & Beyond for um, a pack of, like, 20 for $20. Or I believe it's, like, a pack of 20 for, like, $19.99. And... Or you can get them pretty much anywhere else, like Walmart, or you can order them. And as you can see, um, with a CNC cage, you can make it whatever size you want. Like from pet store cages, they you can't really expand them. Okay, guys, stop it. But anyway, yeah, you can like connect the cubes, and you just use these little connectors that you can buy them with, or um, t cable ties, and you connect them. And they are really not hard to clean because I think that, like, because they're bigger, they're a lot easier to clean because, um, like, if you have a small cage, all the, like, poop and stuff piles up really easily and it's all, like, compacted in one, like, spot. And, yeah. And with these cages, they have a lot of room to run around. And if you have a lot of guinea pigs, there's, like, not any pet store cages you can buy to fit them all. So you can, like, easily make this as big as you want. You can, you can also customize it to whatever shape you want, like, if you were, like, in a corner, maybe if you wanted to make it into an L shape. So, like, you can make whatever shape would fit in your room. And the chloroplast, if, if, it's like, if you're like me and you can't find it anywhere and you don't want to use a shower curtain, you can order off, there's, like, a lot of websites, and I'll link them below. There's, like, I think guineapigcages.com or guinea pig zone. They sell them, but if you buy them from, like, there... The, the, the chloroplast is always already cut, so it's like this. Like, you would have, like, a wall up here to keep everything impacted. I just um, binder clip the blanket up here so all their stuff stays in the cage since I do not have chloroplast. But, yeah, it's already cut for you. But if you just buy straight-up chloroplast from somewhere, then you'd have to cut it yourself. Although, if you buy it to where you have to cut it yourself, it would be a lot cheaper. And if you're wondering on, like, the sizes on however many guinea pigs you have, a 2x4 is for, can fit up to two guinea pigs. That's a good amount. And for one guinea pig, a 2x3. So, like, two of these by four would be for two guinea pigs. I have, like, mine is a 3x4. And then for three guinea pigs, a 2x5, and, like, yeah, like, so on, kind of. So basically I definitely recommend these cages. They're really not hard to make and they're cheap. They're, like like I said, this was only um, $20. The chloroplast is a little bit pricey, but it's a lot cheaper than what you would spend on a, a pet store cage that would be way smaller. And it's a lot, it's not hard to clean. The guinea pigs are much happier in it because they have a lot of room to roam and, and you can like customize them and fit however many guinea pigs you need in them. So anyway, that's kind of what a CNC cage is and a little bit about it. So I'm going to just give you guys a quick tour of mine since I just cleaned it. So on the side, I just hung this little guinea pig keychain there. I had this little bed blanket folded for them. This right here for them to chew on, uh, I just have that there. And this thing, if you guys didn't see my last video, it's just this little... Uh, thing. I don't know what to call it, but it had like one of these at the bottom too. But I just took it out so they can like go in there and hang out and sleep. And then and here's where their hay is. And on top is where I, that's has their pellets stored. And then that's their veggie bowl, lap pad, and their sweeper. And then right there's their pellet dish and their hay bowl. And then that's just a stuffed animal. And then that's Dustin. And right here are just some little hay cubes I had. That's a tile, and 
that's the water bottle and the tile just catches the water because it drips a lot and then this they like going through the middle of this and chewing on it it's really weird and then this one they chew on a lot and just this little stuffed carrot and a ball and that's pretty much the cage if you guys are wondering why if you see them itching a lot they have a fungal infection so I'm going to be ordering some stuff for them to clear that up. Anyway guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. Please check out my other channel which I will link below. And um, follow me on Instagram and subscribe and leave a nice comment. So that's pretty much it. Bye guys.